Hi, everybody. We're back. Hey, welcome back. Uh, today we're talking about uh, something that came up in the um, in the uh, the D and D adventure that you ran for us yes, yesterday. Yesterday, we played Dungeons the Dragons yesterday, and I needed some monsters to come out of nowhere. And um, I had this idea a couple of weeks ago um, of tentacles, tentacles that come out of the ground, ten tentacles come out of the sand, tentacles come out of the ocean. Tentacles that can come out anywhere. <laughs> so what I did is just um, decided, and you can add. And the cool thing about these is you can just add more. Yeah. If the party's killing them too quick, you add more, or you make them a little more powerful. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> you can randomly pop these monsters out of again anywhere at any time. Give them a hit dice anywhere from one to t to ten, mm -hmm. depending on how big the tentacles are and how powerful they are. And um, my idea was that the tentacles grab you, and if they make a successful attack, they pick you up and they're smashing you around and stuff. Mm -hmm. And when you sever them, you, you get dropped. Yeah. And then you take a, a damage when you hit the ground. And if you're over water, you have a chance of falling in the water. Which is very bad if you're wearing armor. Yes, if you're wearing armor, then you go right to the bottom, Ben. <laughs> and that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> okay? That's usually disastrous for the characters. <laughs> yeah, so we fought this. It was a Kraken, Kraken in, the, mm -hmm. in the ocean. Yeah. And we fought one of these things. And uh, one cool thing about them is that you don't have to show the monster. Sometimes it's better to... Like, this was just the traditional giant squid thing, but it can be kind of mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. Uh, and you don't have to show the monster, so you don't... Like, you're, never, you're not going to kill the monster, uh, and the monster will probably just regenerate these the, the arms and stuff, so that's not mm -hmm. so bad. And we got to talking about it later, and Brian was like, this is, like, the perfect thing. You could just have this kind of in your, you know, in, in the back of your book, some stats on this stuff, because literally anywhere that you are, you can be in a forest, and they can yeah. be, like, giant vines and branches and stuff mm -hmm. that attack you. You yes. can be in outer space, and, like, some kind of space thing could show up and attack you, yeah. right? Like, uh, mm -hmm. it works everywhere, and it's just an easy encounter that uh, isn't dependent on your location or your level or anything, right? Mm -hmm. You can throw it at any level characters. You can throw it from any location at any time. Yes. And uh, and it's just an encounter that you can pop in there. Mm -hmm. like if you have an hour left before your session's over and you don't want to get into something new, you can just throw yes. a tentacle monster at Exactly. <laughs> or when the characters are sitting around talking too much, driving the dungeon master up the wall, and you can't get them to settle down, you throw tentacles at them, and they just... They snap to attention real quick. <laughs> they wake up. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, wait a second. I'm being smashed around by this thing? <laughs> yeah. And I got the idea from a old Conan story called uh, Red Nails. Oh, yeah. And cool. when Conan's in this kind of underground city type of thing, there's this creature there called the Crawler. And you don't know anything about it. There's almost no description of them, but they do have some kind of like tentacly thing. He just comes out of the darkness. And I thought, wow, that's a good monster. Because you never really see the whole monster. But you know he's got tentacles. You know he's going to do some damage to you. And if he gets a hold of you, you're in big trouble. Yeah. And you can kind of spring these on. And, and Ben's going to write up some real simple rules. And yeah. it's going to be, it's a lot of fun to play. Yeah. And then there's other interesting things you can do with, uh, with the creature where, like, you can put, like, you know, claws on the edge of the temple mm -hmm. or a mouth or, like, a, yeah. you can have, like, a, some kind of paralytic contact poison on it that, it, or, it, you know, can grab you or whatever. Like, there's mm -hmm. all kinds of cool things you can do with it Yeah, uh, just to kind of change the flavor a little bit. And sure. you can make it, you know, it doesn't have to be from a monster. Like we said with the vines, it could be uh, just, you know, just vines or just a kind of, like, uh, rope or whatever. There's all kinds of any anything that's, like, roughly that shape can be mm -hmm. can be an, an attack like that. I got my Sky Creek and shirt on, too. <laughs> so it's, so it's, it's, it's perfect. This one's flying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flying tentacles. <laughs> that's even more fun. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll do a little thing on it. But, yeah, it's, a, you know, it's an easy monster encounter that you can keep in your back pocket that you can throw at any time in any, in any scenario. Yeah. Okay, have fun, and we'll talk to you next time. Watch out for tentacles. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>